The history of radio in Sri Lanka dates back to 1925, when the first radio station, Columba Radio, was established. The station was founded by Edward Harper, who is known as the father of broadcasting in Sri Lanka. Colombo Radio was initially a private station, but it was taken over by the government in 1949 and renamed Radio Ceylon. Radio Ceylon became one of the most popular radio stations in South Asia in the 1950s and 1960s. It was known for its high-quality programming, which included news, music, drama, and educational programs in a variety of languages. Radio Ceylon also played an important role in promoting Sri Lankan culture and music. In 1972, Radio Ceylon was renamed the Sri Lanka Broadcasting Corporation, SLBC. The SLBC is the state-owned radio broadcaster in Sri Lanka. It operates two national radio services, Radio Sri Lanka and Sinhala Razika. The SLBC also operates a number of regional radio stations. Radio is still a popular medium in Sri Lanka today. It is a valuable source of entertainment, information, and education for many people. Radio is also an important tool for the government to communicate with the people and to promote its policies and programs. In addition to the SLBC, there are also a number of private radio stations operating in Sri Lanka. These stations offer a variety of programming, including music news, and talk shows. Radio has played an important role in Sri Lanka's history and culture. It has helped to promote national unity, social development, and economic growth. Radio has also helped to preserve and promote Sri Lanka's unique culture and traditions.